welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay, stay, stay. Stay frosty. Happy New Year's Eve's Eve, guys. Welcome, welcome to the live stream, the very last one of 2021. I just realized, thanks to Annette, that there was a typo going out on all the stuff from today. I uh, fixed the community post. Obviously, the IG story, it is what it is. I'll probably just delete that one after the stream ends tonight. Uh, but welcome to the stream, guys. The last one officially of 2021. It's great to see you guys on here right now. Looks like we've got a packed house in the lobby. Let me see who we've got here, starting off on the very top here. It looks like we've got Erna, 785. Thanks so much for jumping in. Happy New Year's Eve to you. New Year's Eve Eve, I should say. Uh, Lord Darkside, Randy Molina. Jody, what's going on? You have Annette Cervantes, Drew's Food Reviews. Great to see you guys all on here. Hopefully you guys got your fill in the lobby of the very last time you'll see Peepers until probably next year uh, when everything goes away for the uh, for the holiday stuff there once we get started back in January. So a lot of fun, definitely, guys. Let me just tell you, it was a lot of fun with this whole setup for the holiday season. And uh, we're starting off the new year here in just a few short days. So very cool. Let's see who else we've got on here right now. Michael Domeyer, great to see you as well. Thank you so much for jumping in. Uh, let's see here. Going down the line, Ben Nguyen, nice to see you as well. Carl Broussard, what it do, what it do. Uh, let's see here. Buzz7332, shout outs to Buzz. He's always the first one in there with the Super Chat donation. You're really, really quick with that, Buzz. I appreciate you. Happy New Year to Ian and all in the chat. Have a safe and prosperous New Year and a happy and healthy one all around. Let me just tell you, very optimistic about 2022. It's kind of crazy to think that like 100 years ago, it was 1922 and how, you know, like it's just crazy to think about the time that we're in right now. It's crazy, but with better technology, naturally. All right. So let's see who else we've got here. Uh, going down, going down, going down. Looks like more people are joining. I know it says we've got about 31 ish or so people here, but there's more in the um, in the, the chat that I'm looking at here currently. Jay Nepper, Jay, thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. Guess who's back? Ian's back. <laughs> We're all back for the final stream of the year. Let's see here. Going down, we've got uh, Sammy. Sammy, thanks so much for jumping on. I am tired too, let me just tell you. And just to speak to Buss's point a little while ago when he just chatted in there with um, his sore throat, I'm kind of getting one as well. Um, definitely, it is raining like cats and dogs here in Southern Cali right now. Pretty much all of my filming this past week and a half um, has been with weather like that. So you're going to see the final review of the year coming up tomorrow. Um, but it's been a very, 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 very cold, wet, and rainy uh, few days. But believe me, I, we need it here in Southern Cali. I'm so down with it. Um, but it is just very, very cold right now. Let's see. James Morrison, thanks so much for jumping on. Definitely not missing the last live stream of 2021. Looking forward to the show. I appreciate you being here, James Morrison. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, and there's Buzz, a sore throat as well. I think it's the weather we've been having. I'm definitely, I've got something going on in my throat as well, too, in terms of my gland being a little swollen on the left side and a little bit of pain in my left ear. Uh, I've been trying to get into urgent care to have them just take a look at it, but I can't seem to make the virtual cue um, every day. So I'm going to maybe try over the weekend. We'll have to see what happens. I think I need just an antibiotic or just something to kind of help with that. Uh, let's see. So going on down the line, Mr. Jimmy, mi familia. Thanks so much for jumping on, Mr. Jimmy. Great to see you as always. And uh, definitely a very happy holidays, post-holidays to you guys. Hopefully you all had an amazing holiday for Christmas. Um, I definitely had a really, really beautiful time, um, especially with my sister in her new place. It was a lot of fun there. I've got a few things to show you, just a couple of things here um, as we go throughout this stream here. But naturally, it was a very nice time to kind of relax and kind of hang out, have some pretty good food. Um, great to send out the holiday cheer, holiday wishes to each and every one of you guys. So hopefully you guys had an amazing time with uh, family and friends safely, of course. Uh, you already know what it is. Tony Schultz, Peep Nation here, represent. I appreciate that. And Annette Cervantes, follow Ian on IG at Peep This Out Reviews. I greatly appreciate that. If you guys always want to know what's coming up in terms of what's released that day, and especially for any communication for changes to the schedule, you'll always find that information on IG Story. Uh, there as well. So I can only imagine how many comments I'm going to have on the IG story about the last stream of 2020 because we're going back in time, right? <laughs> For like a year ago. It's crazy. Subtico's in the house. What it do? Thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you jumping in here. Misty Smith, thank you as well. Let's see here. Millie Vanilli, blame it on the rain. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's see. Missy says she hopes 2022 is going to be like 2021. Well, if it was an amazing year for you, I hope so as well. But naturally, I'm so glad we're just pushing further and further into the future um, and definitely getting away from a lot of the really bad stuff that we've all been dealing with uh, these last couple of years, at least. Uh, let's see here. 
have you seen uh let's see what did you think of seeing a lot of the original cast come back for no way home yes it was very cool very cool movie for spider-man i definitely enjoyed it uh for sure really really crowd pleasing film without a doubt everyone here and wants to know who's the hot tea gang going i've got some warm water <laughs> no flavor just to kind of keep me going here but I definitely can appreciate that. Just so you guys know, I actually did treat myself to something today. Um, I ended up driving through Mickey D's, which is usually the case to get an iced coffee, but today was a large decaf coffee with some cream and a little bit of sugar. And I actually cashed in some of my points for Pizza Hut um, and picked up a free medium pizza, two topping pizza. I got mushroom, sliced mushroom and sausage, uh, pan style, because you gotta do that when you do Pizza Hut, right? So I picked up some of that. Had three pieces of that when I got home, and I've just been kind of just trying to relax, get ready, getting you know ready for the stream tonight, and uh, spending some time with you guys for sure. So, obviously, with the new year coming up, you know, New Year's Eve, that type of thing, I'm going to be over at my sister's spot. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun for that. Hopefully, the weather will be better. But on rainy days such as this, and let me just see a show of pizza emojis here in the chat. Does pizza, is it like the best on a rainy day? I mean, really, I think any type of food is amazing on a rainy day. Most of my most recent Taco Bell reviews, I've probably said that a few times. But give me a pizza here. And if you think that pizza is just the best during a rainy day or a super cold day, um, there's just something about hot pizza, hot cheesy pizza on a, on a hot day or a cold day, a super cold day, rainy day. I see uh, Erna agrees. Annette Cervantes agrees. Bus definitely agrees. Uh, Lord Darkseid is all over the place with the emojis. James Morrison, Drew, Ben, you already know. Yes, pizza, grilled cheese, broccoli, cheddar soup. That sounds pretty amazing in that, definitely. Misty Smith agrees. Sammy, uh, <laughs> I think Sammy likes a hot pie. Is that pie? Is that a pie emoji, Sammy? <laughs> Dom's World definitely agrees as well. Mr. Jimmy, Taiwanese beef noodle soup and fuzz, the best for a rainy day for me. That's actually a bomb situation in general. Um, I absolutely, uh, I have a lot of noodle soup, as you know, Mr. Jimmy, with the wifey, so I can appreciate that for sure. A little bit of sliced pork is actually pretty amazing. Maybe some dumplings. You know, Noodle World actually sounds pretty good right now. Sub T Grill says, Oven, no, only brick oven pizza. Hey, I'm down with that too. That's definitely sound. That sounds pretty good too, there, sub. Absolutely. Sammy, no hot coffee on a rainy day. I definitely had that today and I finished the large as well. And it was scalding hot too, um, which I really appreciated because the, I actually had to go pick up the pizza after I got the coffee. So by the time I got home, it was like perfect uh, in there too. So really, really good stuff. And that can't do pho. That's not, that's, that's too bad. It's really good. Really good. Udon soup or wonton soup? I'm going to say I like wontons, but udon noodles are pretty good too. So I would probably say that, that's a hard toss up there. I mean, if I was given either, I would be happy either way. But I'm a more of a dumpling type of guy personally. So I think for me, it's going to be that. Uh, let's see here. John Chern, ABC interview and career prep. What's going on, my friend? Absolutely agreeing with Mr. Jimmy. Taiwanese in the house. Absolutely. <laughs> it's good stuff all around. Good stuff all around. Larry Nguyen, I do not hate you at all. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. How could I hate you, Larry? I love all of you guys in here. It's really hard to do with this chat at the same time, just so you know, with the amount of questions and everything flying at me here. There's going to be a little bit of a different streaming format that I'm going to attempt to do beginning sometime in January. So we're going to be changing a few things around as well, because I like to kind of brush things up here and there. So we'll be moving some things around, making things just a little bit easier. Um, as well, but naturally I'm going to give you still the same experience that you're used to here on the channel um, But hopefully a little bit of a different look um, at the same time as well So good stuff all around there and obviously as you're seeing down below bus You are definitely one of the official sponsors of the stream for this uh, this stream for this week as always like every week I greatly appreciate you should you guys wish to do just that there I always got to get this out of the way in the beginning You'll have a multitude of ways should you want to do that Obviously super chatting at the very bottom of your chat box There's a little dollar symbol there as well But keep in mind that YouTube does take a chunk of that from you So if you decide to go the PayPal route You'll be able to find that link down below in the description and the first pinned comment if you're watching this on the replay um, as well. But either way, greatly appreciated. As you guys know, I'm a one-man show, so anything that you guys decide to do throughout the hour is always uh, fun to lighten it up, as well as you know, give you guys your shout-outs up there and down below um, as well, too. So thank you so much for all your love and support, guys. It's been a crazy, crazy year um, of goodness all around. The next review or the last review of the year that you're going to see comes out tomorrow that was done a few days ago. Um, and naturally, it's going to have a little bit of a message at the very end because obviously I plan to have this one out on the 31st. 
Um, so obviously, if we have process of elimination, I wonder if you can guess what it is. <laughs> but at the same time, um, it should be a lot of fun um, to, to kind of, you know, acknowledge the fact that it's been an amazing year. And that's all because of you guys. It's all because of your love and support. Um, I love to create. I love to put out what I do. But you guys enjoying it and sending me feedback on it and, and enjoying the stuff there means the world to me. So I always tell you guys. You know, like I said, I, I couldn't do what I do without you, um, as all creators say on YouTube naturally there. But for you, for our community, for the amazing people that we have in it, every single one of you guys, um, I greatly appreciate the love and support, you know, from you throughout the year. I think we're a little over 11 million total channel views right now, which is insane. Uh, I just an insane number. Um, and we're approaching 36,000 subs as well. I think it's like 130 or so before we crack over the uh, 36,000 mark there. So. I can't even tell you. It's been a very, very fun month, crazy month. But at the same time, um, 2022 is right around the corner. And of course, we're going to just start it all over again. And definitely there'll be a lot of fun things to check out. And as things evolve and grow, uh, we'll see what this year brings uh, naturally there. It's going to be a lot of fun uh, for sure. So going into real quickly, the breakdown for this past week, the schedule... Okay, so after the uh, Wendy's new hot and crispy fries, we jumped into the Taco Bell Chipotle Cheddar Chalupa review. Um, definitely an interesting thing. I kind of thought that was going to be a toasted cheddar situation on the outside, but obviously it kind of is what it is uh, with that there. We immediately went into the spicy cluck sandwich just to round that one out there because I was looking at my portfolio and I realized I did not have a spicy variant. I just had the blazing, the regular, and all the other variants that they've had um, during that time. So I wanted to see what was so special about the spicy cluck sandwich on that one there. And then obviously, guys, a super fun time chatting with each and every one of you on my top 10 food reviews of 2021. A lot of people were sending me messages, how come Jollibee wasn't featured? And I thought about that at first. I was really kind of weighing, it should I have squeezed them in there at some point, considering all the hype throughout the year. But considering everything else that was on that list, I'm very happy with everything that was listed there. I think Jollibee naturally, probably as an honorable mention, I probably, for the next time I do this, the next year, uh, for 2022, when we get towards the end of that, I'll probably add like an honorable mention section just to kind of say some other ones there. Instead of having to kind of really squeeze in with 10, uh, we'll have to see there um, if I can uh, add an honorable mention. Erna, 785. Thank you. I appreciate the super chat donation right there. Thoughts on Satigal always has a drink before <laughs> the stream. Hey, whatever it takes to relax, Erna, I'm okay with that. As long as you're safe, you're not going anywhere and he's not driving naturally. I am perfectly okay with that. But you guys want to answer that question here in the chat? Absolutely there. I think Sub knows what he's doing. He's an adult, I would think. So we'll have to see um, with what you guys have to say about Sub over there. My passive aggressive <laughs> Sub. Interesting guy. Interesting guy. Much love and appreciation. Uh, Uncle ST. <laughs> That's hilarious. Congrats on 35,000, almost 36. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Larry Nguyen, I have been to the McDonald's and bar stuff, but it's been a long time. Logan Marvin, definitely uh, going over to the sisters for uh, New Year's Eve. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm um, very close to the roast, uh, the roast parade route over here. So I don't know if I'm going to be home uh, for that because of all the craziness that it is. And to talk about super spreader events. I'm a little worried about that. Uh, we'll have to see. Misty Smith, what's the food review? Uh, what's the food you're going to review? You're about to find out very shortly, very shortly. So anyway, real quick again, back to... Um, the total there. So the top 20, um, top 10 food reviews, I should say, of 2021. And then naturally uh, beginning the beefy melt burrito coming up with the $2 uh, values, uh, the cravings value menu items from Taco Bell. Uh, naturally the beefy melt burrito. There's a chicken ranch grilled chicken burrito, uh, which just came out in process of elimination. There's also a Fiesta veggie coming your way. <laughs> so if the cat's not out of the bag by now, now you should know. Uh, but good times there, guys. It was a lot of fun checking that stuff out there. And it looks like you guys are enjoying them as well. A lot of fun producing those um, at the same time as I'm beginning to lose my voice here. Shawnee Mac, bombs. Yes, sir. Some of the old days right over there. <laughs> good times. Uh, let's see here. Going down the line here, Ulysses, the Chick-fil-A tenders or Zaxby's? You know, I've only tried uh, Zaxby's. I have actually haven't tried. They're not here on the West Coast. Uh, for that here. Oh, Mr. Jimmy says that right over here. Zaxby is available, not available on the West Coast. They're out in Georgia. Yeah, we don't have them uh, here as well. But Chick-fil-A tenders, they're okay, you know, naturally. For me, I kind of like anything Popeye's related, to be honest, if you're going to go for the real chicken tender stuff there as well. A true fried chicken joint, I think. Even Raising Cane's would be pretty amazing. 
Uh, Sammy, did Wendy's make it on the list? Actually, they made it twice, Sammy. You got to check out that video. That was a lot of fun to do. Mr. Jimmy, I don't even know. I don't even know you for not including Jollibee. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, going down the list, it was very hard to kind of, you know, go in there. But I had to go with some of the visual stuff. Flavor-wise, definitely, Jimmy. It was definitely an awesome situation to check them out. Um, but like I said, I think I'm going to do a like an honorable mention. I think we'll have to do that. There. They would definitely be a tops uh, within the top five by far, especially for chicken. I mean, really, really good stuff. Ben Nguyen, let's see. Jollibee in Vietnam has never had mango pie. They've only had dessert and I like pie. So I guess I need to try it in 2022. I would recommend it. I would recommend it. And keep in mind, you guys still have a few more Jollibee videos coming your way. So I have not forgotten about that. There's a lot of stuff still left uh, to check out in this, th at least three that you're going to see um, in the not too distant future. Uh, let's see. Annette says she can go for the Jollibee spaghetti right now. Very nice. Annette says Cane's. You know how we do, boy. <laughs> yeah, you already know at the end of that video there with my little Flavor Flav. I had to throw a little Flavor Flav in there one last time. Uh, Erna, Ian, when was the last time I was drunk? Probably last New Year's Eve. I have a feeling I had maybe just a little too much. Um, but I remember just kind of just being relaxed at home and it really wasn't anything uh, to write home about naturally there. But there'll be some things for probably tomorrow night. Uh, I have a feeling. We'll have to see how that goes. Ben Nguyen, Taco Bell chicken wings will be the next crazy item. We'll try and fast food. Yes, everyone's going to be running. There's probably going to be 5 million reviews the exact same day uh, with that one coming out. I have no doubt <laughs> for that. So um, a lot of fun seeing what they're going to do with that in terms of like the recipe, because naturally it's like a little bit of a queso seasoning now, I guess they're using, but the same, I think the same type of dip uh, that, that I tried with that. So we'll have to see. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, with that. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be. Lots of fun checking that out was in the when it was in the test market phase. TL, how's it going? Going well. Thank you so much for the Super Chat donation. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're doing well, enjoying a little pre-New Year's Eve's Eve festivity, hanging out tonight just for a little bit. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to do this on New Year's Eve because I don't know, I think that wouldn't be cool personally for me because now obviously it's New Year's Eve, you know? So uh, we'll have to um, definitely get back onto the schedule as we get into January uh, for sure. So let's see, last couple of things here, and we'll get into the review in just a second. Actually, there's a couple of, a couple of things I should show you. One of them I'll probably get to right now uh, for you. Aaron Trujillo, how are you doing? How are you feeling, buddy? Doing okay, just a little bit a little bit under the weather right now. A um, little bit of a sore throat um, situation here. So, But other than that, you know, I'm really just enjoying the fact that we have crazy winter weather right now. We're being pounded right now as we speak. The rain has just been going and going and going. Um, and I'm cool with that. I don't know if you guys can kind of hear that on the window just a little bit, but it's definitely uh, doing its thing for sure. And that says your, your Popeyes is not cool, huh? Not cool. <laughs> definitely. I'm glad there's more Popeyes in locations around town than just one. So hopefully you have a few to choose from. If one isn't good, go to the next one for sure. All right. Logan, New Year's Eve would have been a fantastic situation. I don't think that would have been a successful stream. I love you guys completely, but naturally, I wouldn't want to do that to you. <laughs> so it's all good. Michael Domeyer, missed you last week, was doing stuff with the family. No worries. Naturally, the replays are available and all that good stuff is there, Mike. But I appreciate you jumping on. Hopefully, you guys had an amazing holiday. It's one of the reasons also I wanted to do the stream a day early from Christmas Eve on the 23rd for that reason. Uh, only because of that there. Uh, let's see. Drew finally got to try Papa John's. Nice. That's right. You were telling me they actually opened one up to you. Oh, close to you there. Very nice. Can't wait to see what it is that you may have tried. Is it possibly a New York inspired item or something epically in the crust? Possibly. <laughs> I'm curious. Speaking of epic, let me just tell you guys, I had a small little something left on my doorstep from me familia um, a few days ago, and I really am very very thankful for what this is because it is very very cool it actually came in this very cool case and if you guys can kind of see that symbol in the very middle over there it's actually kind of reversed i'll turn it around you can probably see it in the light it looks like is that hot wheels i think it's hot wheels right so really really cool take a look at this guys this is just really really awesome tv series batmobile this is a collector's item and obviously it is a name brand Hot Wheels brand for what you got here. Hopefully that's gonna try and focus. Let me try and keep it forward here. It's probably not going to. 
It's very contrasty. I'm still working on trying to fix that. Okay, as we come down over here, take a look at that. Hottest metal cars in the world. Very, very slick on this one. I guess it's a numbered item, I guess, for what this symbol over here is. But I was very blown away by this. On the very back of it here, it's got a little bio of the Batmobile. If you guys want to pause that, you guys can read that right there. So it's got a very cool background. Talks about everything, the detailing, the paint, graphics, all that stuff. It's very, very cool. And I, I was very, very happy to <laughs> receive this. And also with me familiar telling me, he's not trying to get me into collecting Hot Wheels, but with something like this, with me being a Batman fan aside from Motu, um, this is something that needed to be in the collection. And it's the classic Batmobile. So shout outs to Mr. Jimmy. If you are watching this right now, if you uh, walked away from the TV, this is going to be on the replay for you. But I greatly appreciate the TV series Batman collectible on this one here. It just looks really, really slick. I love the detail. It's got that burn, the afterburner right there on the side. In the very back and of course that classic front but really really slick this one and the 1989 batmobile are the best out of all of them by far so these are really really slick so really really nice and like i said it comes in this really cool case so let me just pop this in real quick here and we'll get this outfitted but i really really am thankful uh, for this one mr jimmy i appreciate it greatly and there we go popped in and this is going to go up on the shelf and it's a really cool collectible case too i mean this fits perfectly look at that really really nice so very very slick i appreciate this greatly one last time tv series batmobile really really cool hot wheels everyone should have at least one or two hot wheels just in their collection regardless i mean that's just how, how American is this? I mean, Hot Wheels. I mean, come on, as kids, every single one, every single kid has a Hot Wheels, right? So now I officially have one, even though I am 48. <laughs> but that's awesome. Better late than never. Better late than never. Oh, uh, let's see here. Larry Nui, Mr. Jimmy. Who is Mr. Jimmy? That is me, familia. That is my cuz. My cousin. Good times, good times. So let's see, Maureen Descatado, thanks so much for jumping on. Happy New Year's Eve to you guys. And Aaron Trujillo, feel better. I'm definitely going to try. I'm definitely going to try. It's all we can do is move forward with it there. Dom's World, any thoughts on doing the one chip challenge anytime soon? Yes, you guys probably see this right there. It is hanging up over there because I like the way that it looks. So I'm thinking about it, but I'm also a little worried about it at the same time. I really thought about it around Halloween, like I said, when I showed that. But um, I have to see when the expiration is on that, because naturally I'm just uh, I got to see what my schedule is like, just in case anything were to happen a day or two or the very next day after that there. So we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but let's see here. Let me go on down the line here as well. There is so many of you guys here in the chat here right now. I greatly appreciate all of you jumping in here. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, let's see here. Larry Nguyen, have I been to McDonald's in Barstow? Yeah, I think we just answered that one over there. Actually, we did. I have a long time ago there, Larry. That's the only thing. I haven't driven to Vegas in a minute, so uh, it's been a bit. Adriana, hello, hi, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. A little under the weather, but doing all right. Sabas, did you ever have the original Corgi model? Sorry, I'm a little late. No, I have not. Corgi, which which model? Which model of the Batmobile? That's my first, if that's the case, because that's the uh, the very first one that I've had. Erna, do I watch Judge Judy? No, I have in the past, but uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing recent, nothing recent. Uh, Annette Cervantes, I was in Vegas this time last year. Definitely drunk. Shout out to Fat Tuesdays and the Venetian for hooking it up. Very cool. But no shout out to White Castle. Over an hour to get food? Oh, crazy. That was the only uh, White Castle to review that I have on my channel. And you, I think you know that, Annette. That's uh, where I actually reviewed that in Vegas, uh, doing a, a couple of sliders, I think it was, or something then. Uh, I remember walking all the way down from the MGM, and you know what I'm talking about because of how far down that is from on the main strip there. That was a long walk uh, to get there. So I was more than hungry <laughs> to have something when I got there. Uh, but good times, good times. Ah, uh, yes, the original Corgi Batmobile model. Yes, that is the original one, if that's the case. The TV version, TV series Batmobile, Adam West variant uh, of Batman from way back in the day. 
Erna, do you prefer Seinfeld, Drew Carey, or Friends? I'm probably going to go with Seinfeld, although I happen to I like Friends um, as well. And then Drew Carey is not bad as well, too. I didn't really watch too much Drew Carey. In the 90s, it was more Friends and Seinfeld. Um, that one-two combo, and along with ER on Thursday nights, I remember, was really, really popular. Uh, let's see here. Missy Smith, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Well, for me, I mean, In-N-Out is probably going to be my favorite. My, the one that I frequent the most um, is El Pollo Loco because I love their chicken. Um, and then obviously McDonald's for iced coffees and the occasional treat uh, with their burgers and such. But I would probably say In-N-Out. Probably say In-N-Out. Maureen Descatado, are you going? You and your wife going? Carol going to celebrate New Year's? Yes, absolutely. You should go dancing. No, it is not safe right now. LA, California right now is, especially Southern California, is pretty insane for cases. <laughs> it's been pretty scary. And just as a country right now, it's pretty scary. So it looks like we're, we're kind of surging again here. Uh, but that'll be, we'll do a little bit of dancing, I'm sure, that night. <laughs> Definitely when the, uh, the ball goes down and we, we see everything in New York. I don't even know if New York is still doing their thing. I don't know if that's happening. Um, but of course, we'll be watching that uh, for sure. Uh, and that Judge Judy is something you would watch when you're sick and home from school. For me, it was um, it was Jerry Springer, <laughs> actually. <laughs> but I remember Judge Judy during the day on Channel 9 here in Southern California, without a doubt. Friends in the Nanny, says Annette Cervantes. Ben Nguyen, little cold in the night, but super cold in the afternoon to Adriana. Let's see. Yes, I have seen Just Shoot Me, for sure, Erna. Not a bad show. I uh, hope McDonald's, they have bread, new good food for 2022. Definitely, hopefully, a, a expanded menu because it was a little light in terms of releases there for just about everybody, to be honest. Um, some of the real trend-setting ones, obviously, the crazy calzone uh, from Little Caesars, naturally. Um, you know, that's really one of the main different things, I think, that came out this year. Otherwise, it was kind of more of kind of what you would see um, in general from a lot of these places, for sure. Uh, yes, Mr. Jimmy, I watch Judge Springer over Judge Judy anytime when I'm sick at home. Absolutely. <laughs> Favorite restaurant is Mickey D's and Sonic Drive-In. Sonic is way down on the bottom for me, though, Misty, obviously, with some of the experiences I've had reviewing their stuff. They're, they're good for drinks and for desserts, definitely. But when it comes to um, regular food items, it's just not my go-to, unless I'm going to be reviewing something that really looks super interesting. Like, they just brought back the patty melt. They're bringing a lot of stuff back that they've I've reviewed already in the past. So you usually see those come out on my community tab. Um, actually, the habit, speaking of patty melt, actually just came out with theirs as well. And that was a super delicious variant. If you have the habit close by, I would highly recommend that uh, for sure. It is really, really good. Uh, let's see. Sean O'Connell, when are you going to try those flaming hot Cool Ranch Doritos? You know, if I can see that when it comes to the market stuff, Sean, I, I've, I think I've said in the past that I'm usually kind of like the bottom of the barrel last to get those things. Um, unless I happen to see them at Walmart, if I happen to go. Um, but a lot of those things, literally, I, I think it's maybe a little bit more of the back east, southern area into the Midwest, um, that all those things are just prevalent. Um, I just don't see them, um, you know, at least in my area. And I don't know why that is. By the time they do show up, it's kind of old news. Um, but if I see them, I definitely want to um, check them out for sure. And of course, we'll probably do them here. Uh, let's see. Kyle Broussard, I said, see, Ian, with you having an Xbox, any chance of getting Colors Ultimate, of getting Colors Ultimate? Colors Ultimate. What is Colors Ultimate, Kyle? <laughs> what is that? I wouldn't mind getting an Xbox, uh, the newest Xbox, of course. Um, the Series X. Ben Nguyen says, I was talking to this, Pringle Moa Burger Edition. I've seen those, actually. That's the, uh, the Halo Burger Pringle mashup. All right, let's see. Going down the line, looks like we're almost caught up. Sub, Ian Man, Master of the Universe. All right. <laughs> uh, Darth of the Dead, what's your favorite TV show you're watching at the moment? From right now, it's, I'm actually almost done with Money Heist on Netflix. I have two episodes left, and I just checked out um, The Book of Boba Fett actually last night, uh, which was really cool, actually. And the very beginning of it's going to make a lot of you very happy if you're wondering about certain things. It was very cool. Um, to see what they did with that. Um, a little on the fence towards the end of the episode, but we'll have to see uh, where the story goes from here. But it was a great beginning uh, for sure, uh, without a doubt there. I definitely can't wait to check it out. And yes, and I did watch the new Matrix. It's Boo Boo. I did not care for it. Um, a very needless sequel uh, for that. And the story was just mm, so-so. They really should have gotten some of the original cast to do that. I got to be honest with you. Uh, not a good, Not a good situation. Haven't had Halo Burger from uh, this LZJ. 
The Moa Burger from Pringles. I've seen them in the store, though. I've seen them in the store. Uh, let's see. Do you watch Jimmy Kimmel, Conan O'Brien, Craig Ferguson, David Letterman? Yes, I watched all of those at one point. Absolutely. Oh, getting Sonic old Colors Ultimate. Probably not. Probably not. I like Sonic, but I haven't played any of the newer games like at all. I mean, I love the classic Sonic from back in the 90s. But for me, um, that's always going to be the, the ultimate, personally, is the, uh, the original games for sure. Uh, let's see. Going down the line. Let's see. Tiffany Shields, noticing your videos were generating 10,000 views, 15,000 views. Now your videos are generating 1,000 views, 1,500 views. Not sure what the, what you mean, Tiffany. I'm not sure. I couldn't say. I mean, the performance goes up and down depending upon, you know, what it is possibly as well that way. But everything has been steadily increasing every single year. And that's what I look at is I always try and beat the last month and I keep moving forward. Um, and then looking at the yearly totals to see are we actually going further in the right direction there as well. So it is definitely a marathon, not a sprint when it comes to these things for sure. There's always going to be peaks and valleys uh, without a doubt. The goal is to have as much fun doing what you're doing. And that's the that's the thing there is having a blast doing it for sure. Uh, let's see. Sabas Corgi from Toys from England made the Batmobile for the Batman TV show. Okay, cool. They made the Batman uh, TV show variant. OG back in the day. They also made the Aston Martin James Bond car. Ejection seat, bulletproof shield, changing license plate. Very cool. Very cool. And you learn something new every day. That's awesome. Thank you for that, Sabas. I appreciate that. Very cool little bit of trivia there. Michael Domeyer, I found the Ego Pop-Tarts last night at Walmart. Nice, 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 nice. I finally saw they have the One Bite Pizza there, which looks so boo-boo, it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, ScottRush.com, didn't like Baby Yoda's new outfit? Yes. Let's see, definitely looking forward to the new season of Cobra Kai. That's probably going to be a one and done. I'm going to chunk that one out all day like I did uh, earlier this year when the uh, the other one came out towards the beginning, or late December. It was around the same time. Uh, for season three so actually i heard they already wrapped season five uh, they already finished filming season five already um so they're way ahead of the game and i can't wait to see uh, what's going to happen with that there's going to be a lot of little twisties and twist and turns of things i'm excited for it for sure jay jay never what's going on i appreciate the super chat donation that is definitely an end of the year capper <laughs> Right there. Cobra Kai and Netflix, December 31st. Yes, they upped it from the 29th, apparently. I saw Martin Cove posted, uh, who plays Kyle Reese. Uh, not Kyle Reese, but uh, John Kreese on the show. Um, apparently, I guess it's uh, on the 31st, New Year's Eve, tomorrow. Which technically is tonight at midnight. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. It just occurred to me. I may have to do something later on tonight. Well, maybe I'll just save it. I think I'm going to save it. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. But Jay, thank you. Thank you so much for the Super Chat donation. I greatly appreciate you. All of you guys doing the do down the down the uh, in the Super Chatting section, as well as any PayPal. I won't know until this uh, the stream ends, but of course you guys will be down below. Thank you so much for your generosity. It means a, it means a great deal. It really does. Have you seen a favorite Christmas movie? It's going to be a Christmas story. My sister and I, we love that movie. We love it, love it, love it. Um, classic. We actually watched about half of it um, actually on the on the day. I didn't we didn't finish the movie, um, but we have to actually uh, get back to finishing it. But it's just such a classic film. Christmas Story is classic with the bully and all that stuff. There are people running back and forth and you'll shoot your eye out. All that fun stuff. Good times. Drew, any more holiday food reviews tonight? Well, there is definitely a food review in a couple of minutes, actually. And then uh, <laughs> whether it's holiday, I'll leave that up to you, Drew. I'll leave that up to you. Misty Smith, how many years have you been on YouTube? It was actually a little over eight years now, actually. 2013, I began. So 2022 will begin the ninth year on my uh, on here. And I guess that's when things are supposedly supposed to explode, so to speak, I guess, when you get closer to the 10-year mark, <laughs> some sooner than later. And how that works, I don't know. Uh, I'm, just, I'm kidding, of course. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what this new year is going to bring. Uh, naturally, but uh, yeah, it's going to be the beginning of my ninth year, which is crazy to think about how much content continues to can still do business on my back catalog. Actually, when I see the, the videos that you guys are watching, it blows me away because I check that every so often and I kind of can't believe that. I just I can't believe that um, some of my older stuff. But I guess people are curious to see what was. And naturally, I'm cool with that, too. Adriana, I do like Jack in the Box. They have a pretty cool looking menu. Absolutely looking forward to uh, Cobra Kai's new season N. Absolutely. 
Darth of the Dead, agree with Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett. Yep, it's an interesting start. It's got like a little bit of a vibe of The Mandalorian, but um, naturally it's uh, it kind of the way it jumps is a little little jarring for me. I won't say anything more too much about that, but it's cool to see what they're doing with it. I'm just, I love the very beginning because it answers a lot, which is a cool thing. I think everyone wanted to see that for sure. All right, so let me see. Going down the line here, I think we're all caught up here. Erna, what about Married with Children? Yes, that's a classic one. Absolutely. And yes, Ben, Arby's did bring back the mac and cheese as well as crispy fish, I believe, um, on top of that. And they have, I guess, some brisket and bacon sandwich, too, um, that's out on top of it. Larry Nguyen, what does it uh, mean when you said it was boo-boo? Meaning that it is not good, Larry. <laughs> it's another way of saying it's just a little boo-boo. Haven't seen Don't Look Up, Sabas. I haven't seen that one yet. And... Let's see. What is this one? Darth of the Dead. Did you happen? Yes, actually, I've watched the first three episodes of Hawkeye, and I'm not impressed. I'm really not impressed with it. I got to be honest. I'll finish it, um, but I really think it's just kind of like, mm, you know, I mean, there's really no need for it, to be honest. It's okay what they're doing with it, um, but I'm not super impressed with that at all. I think it's probably the weakest out of the shows um, that Disney has, um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that progresses. Hopefully it picks up. Naturally, with only six episodes a season, you know, it's a kind of a tester season, I think. Um, to see what people think there. We'll have to see. We'll have to see about that. So, all right, guys, if you're ready, let's see what Mr. Jimmy jumping in here. Uh, I'm surprised no one watched Better Watch Out for the Holidays. Oh, that's something to definitely do. <laughs> I haven't actually watched it yet either, Mr. Jimmy. I, I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm slipping right there, even though I'm in it a little bit. I'm slipping. But yes, it's, uh, at the same time, that is definitely a fun holiday movie. And it still ranks as on one of the top tens on a lot of a lot of polls that I see. Better Watch Out is in there, which is pretty awesome. So uh, good times indeed. Good times indeed with that. And Ben Dean, you must watch the Daredevil series. Oh, I definitely have watched Daredevil. I've watched it. Believe me. Oh, Kingpin is back. Did you just ruin it for me, Ben? Did you just ruin it? <laughs> I... I hope that's not the case, or if it's the same guy playing him. Man, that's not cool, man. That's not cool, man. <laughs> I should have just skipped right by that. That message needs to be removed right there. That's no bueno situation. All right, we're going to move on because I'm going to forget that I saw that. I'm still going to finish watching it. It is what it is. John Hendren, thank you so much. Can I get a shout-out to Jesse? Has on his Wendy's run. Very cool. Shout-out to Jesse because he's doing it big at Wendy's on his drive through right now. John Hendren, I, pre I appreciate you greatly for uh, for shouting that out over there. So if Jesse happens to be watching this and he's kind of podcasting me out while he's driving right now, you know, drive safely, of course, first of all, but shout outs to you there on your Wendy's run. Jesse, get something good. I'd recommend something big. I'd recommend something bacon. I'd recommend something cheddar. And I'd recommend a triple. That's all I'm going to say on that. That's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> good times indeed. All right, so... If you guys are ready for this review, give me a, let's see, what can we do as the final emoji? Give me a pickle. Give me a pickle here in the chat or a cucumber. If you give me a cucumber or a pickle, I'm very curious to see who is going to jump in here first. Let me see, how, as I'm waiting for this over here, let's see. Ian, New York or Chicago style pizza? New York for me, but I love Chicago style as well and including deep a Detroit deep dish um, on top of that. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Jay, 2022, I'm going to send you a Mariah cut out for your background. Don't, I, I want to see what the backup comment is to that, Jay. I want to see what the backup comment is for that. <laughs> is that before or after the Mariah menu has been consumed? I really don't know. Drew jumps in there with the pickle, the cucumber. We got Erno. We got Tim. We got Annette. We got Brendan Flanig Flanagan. Thanks so much for jumping on, Brendan. Hey, hello, hello. Uh, let's see here. Ben Nguyen's jumping in there as well. Sub is putting, <laughs> putting meat on a bone. Michael Domer, Lord Darkseid. Very, very cool. Darth of the Dead, Randy Molina, Misty Smith. Found it. There you go. You're in there. You guys are immortalized. Erna, I got it first. Yes, you did. It looks Actually, I think Drew. Was it Drew? I think Drew got it in first. Drew and then Erna, according to the chat here. But that's craziness. You guys are all number one as far as I'm concerned, okay? Whoever is first, it's it's all good. It's all good. Uh, let's see here. Yes, I agree with that. Have you seen it? If they would have used some of the original characters, I think it maybe would have been a little better. But the story was a little, little so, so a little too on the nose for me. A little too on the nose. So, speaking of on the nose, I can't wait to smell what this is, guys, because I hear, I hear really great things about this. And this was actually another surprise that was actually in a little bit of a gift bag, along with 
the awesome Hot Wheels for the Batmobile. From me, Familia, Mr. Jimmy, take a look at fried pickles with ranch. And this is a huge bag. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, let me just say shout outs to Mr. Jimmy. I appreciate you jumping in here. This is a huge bag, guys. I mean, whenever they do the limited time flavors, they give you like these half size boo boo bags that are filled with air. Once you crack them open, it's like the equivalent of like those little lunch bag versions of chips that you get, which have even more air in them. So you're getting maybe seven or eight chips in the bag, and that's it. This is 15 and a quarter ounces of goodness guys look at this this is a huge bag and this feels like it's filled well right up to about the halfway point so it's all air here but considering how awesome this looks next to me here right now look at this this is a huge bag so i am very excited because i am a huge fan of pickle chips i think uh the, the pickle chips over at um trader joe's are pretty amazing but this is officially from a national brand i don't know if any of you guys have had these right now give me a thumbs up here in the chat I'm very curious to know because I am excited. I've been, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm down with this. I'm saving this for the stream. And Jimmy, thank you for this again. Tangy, creamy, crispy. Wow. That's what it says. Exactly. That's just not me reacting. That's what it says. Wow. Right there. So let's get into this. I am very excited. And I'm just going to let this just blast here because I really, I want to get the, the full impact of this one. So let's give this a go. Open this up. That's more sour cream, but then the pickle comes up on the back end in the aroma department. So I think this is going to be very super creamy here right now. And as you guys can see, it's all air for half the bag. You guys can kind of zoom in there. You can kind of check that out. Wow. That's actually a very strong sour cream smell. I think because of the, the amount that's in here right now. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let me see here. You guys are commenting in the chat here as well. Let's see here. Jackie Hero Food Reviews. Happy New Year's Eve to you. Thanks so much for jumping on. Mr. Rogers. Alfred Piscina. I appreciate you jumping in there as well. Taco Bell Wings come out on January 6th. Yep, one week to go. Let's see. I should review every sauce from Hooters for their wings from this LZJ. <laughs> we don't have one that's local to me actually over here, to be honest there. Um, but let's give this a shot over here. Let's see. Have you seen it? Okay, cool. Interesting coincidence, too. Christmas Story being your favorite Christmas movie since I actually asked you about it. Previous comments, too. There you go. There you go. Good times over there. Larry says, this is so gross. We'll have to see because the this smells amazing, guys. It really <laughs> smells amazing. So let's pull out one of them here. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. See if we can get this to focus just a bit. It's got the dusted dill flakes. I have a feeling this is going to be strong dill with a little sour cream hit. To it there let's give this a shot i'm very excited my mouth is watering for this fried pickles with ranch here on peep this out reviews thanks to mr jimmy here we go mm. Mm. i know my mom is watching right now mom i love you okay i apologize for not saying that in the very top of the hour and i know she's like Please tell me you're not going to review chips again. When they're as good as this, I'm glad I'm reviewing them because this flavor is killer right now. Mmm. The creaminess of the sour cream feeling and then the dill that comes up along with it. The crispy crunchiness of the actual chip itself. This, I wish, was actually uh, more of a kettle chip, to be honest. This is probably not going to focus as well. This needs to be kettle, though. I got to be honest. It really does. Mmm. It's more sour cream than fried pickle, which is interesting because fried pickles is the dominant that it should be with ranch, it says here. I guess it looks pretty close, but I'm getting more of the creamy type of sour cream type of vibe. Not so much ranch with this. That's really good. That's really good. I'm glad this is a big bag, Jimmy. I'm glad this is a big bag because I'm going to be eating this. It's pretty good. I love the uh, the packaging. I love the the foiling on this one here. And obviously, they are really pushing the dill pickle action right there as well, too. If you guys see this in the store, I have not seen um, this in store. So I really, really appreciate the fact that these really look pretty good over here. I mean, look at the fried pickle action. I'm a fan of fried pickles like this with a little bit of ranch dip or something there. 
This is really, really tasty. Mmm. Really tasty. All right, a couple more on this one. Let's see. I'm glad I got a good chip. Yes, you did. Very nice. Really nice. Actually, Jimmy, if you can in the chat over here, if you want to put down where you found these, because these are not at my local um, store, especially this size bag. I mean, this looks like maybe like a Costco, uh, Walmart, you know, type thing there. But if you want to throw it in there in the chat, if anyone's looking out for this, I would recommend this because this is crazy good. Crazy good. Wow. All right. One last one. Because I got plenty to go around here. Larry Nee, and this was actually given to me as a gift. And it's an awesome one because it's going to get consumed. They were only found at Sam's Club. All right, Mr. Jimmy. There you go. For those of you who are looking for this, you need to be. This is really good. Really good. Fried pickles with ranch. Mm. All right. Enough of that because I'm probably going to kill more of it. Scale of 1 to 10. 9 out of 10 on this. Easy. But it would have been so much better... Ding, 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 ding. You guessed it probably. If it was a kettle chip, it needs to be have the that kettle vibe to it there. I mean, the nooks and crannies, even if it's a wavy chip, the regular version of this kind of neuters, I think, some of the flavor of what it could have been, at least in terms of the oils and that type of thing. So for me, the kettle variant, I think, would have been a better way to go with this. But it's super tasty, guys. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is good. Really good. So right there, Sam's Club exclusive, apparently. There you go. Fried pickles with ranch and it's definitely a bomb situation so a nice way to round out 2021 let me just fix that <laughs> instead of 2020 um by going in on something really tasty here and naturally this is really kind of making me want to get some regular fried pickles right now just so you know this is really tasty so easy recommendation jump over to sam's club shout outs to mr jimmy again for uh for this nice one this is something i think the wifey is going to enjoy um but it is really really tasty very impressive um on the flavor on that really really good stuff really good all right as we roll into wow it's 8 48 already this is crazy let's see dom's world didn't used to like pickles but now i'm starting to like them i'll be looking for those cool i definitely recommend it definitely recommend it mr jimmy shout outs again that was really really good let's see here See if there's anything that I got on here. Chris Hansen, you get anything on Amazon? Uh, you get it on Amazon. Oh, from Chris is asking. Nope, Sam's Club. It looks like we just, uh, now that the cat's out of the bag for that one. The pickle is strong with this chip from Drew. <laughs> good times. Oh, good times, good times, good times. Okay, guys, let me show you one more thing because we're already coming up close to the end already. We still have about 10 minutes or so to go here, but this is actually... Because I know my sister is watching right now, and she hasn't made herself known here in the chat that I've seen anyway. Um, but this was something that I did not expect to receive uh, from her at all. And I actually didn't even think that there were this many of these available uh, right now. But without giving too much away, let me show you the... Without showing you the front of it yet, look how thick this book is. And if you look on the side right there, you can see it looks like it has like a little thing for your pages there, a little bookmark that you can use. Given the fact that I'm a fan of a great many things, um, something in particular, what could this possibly be? I mean, just looking at this, I mean, just the thickness alone, it's going to take me a while to get through this here um, easily, <laughs> just so you guys know. So I'm circling it around so you don't see the front of it just yet. But as you can see, a lot of uh, pages in this here as it tries to focus in. Let me pull back here. Let me take it back. Okay, there we go. All right, so a very huge, huge book. And uh, I got to tell you, I was very, very surprised because when I picked this up, I was like, man, this is like a, a massive paperweight. I mean, this is really, really huge. What could this possibly be? And uh, interesting, I think Tony Schultz may have guessed it, actually, as I'm beginning to focus. Pull back. There we go. All right, guys, this is crazy. I got, still got chips all over my mouth here right now. Guys, take a look at the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe mini comic collection. This is a huge, huge collection of every single mini comic book that they have produced.
for the full Masters of the Universe line. I have to see from what year to what year this is, but these apparently, all of the figures that I have up, you know, in the, in the corners and all the way around, they all come with comic books. Even the new ones do um, as well for uh, the re-releases of them. But apparently when they're all condensed together into a book, this is what you get. And I got to say, I was like, oh my God, this is huge. I haven't opened this yet. So you're probably seeing some reflection off the plastic here. Um, but it looks really, really cool. So for those of you who don't know, there's a lot of history with uh, some of the characters looking a little bit differently. So they're going to be re-releasing characters um, that are actually looking like the comic book counterparts on the very back of it here, just to show you. Um, but it's really, really slick. Some of the original artwork, original creators. And interesting enough, on the very bottom, if you see there, featuring stories by creators Robert Kirkman from The Walking Dead, Bruce Timm from Batman the Animated Series, and many more. So an oversized hardcover collection featuring 68 U.S. releases, including all the mini comics from the 80s. Okay, there we go. 80s Princess of Power line, that's She-Ra, and the 80s and 90s. So even the newer line. So they have the Classics line. Basically, it's, the, it's everything. Everything. The Toy Juggernaut from Masters of the Universe. Subsequent action figure line features memorable pack-in mini comics that added to the playtime for children across the world. But very, very cool. And um, I can't wait to crack this open. Sis, if you're watching this right now, I know you're watching this on your TV. I love you. Thank you so much again for this. I uh, gave you a huge hug for this because naturally, I mean, come on, look at this thing. It's He-Man. It just looks so cool. So really, really slick. Can't wait to open that up. But uh, a lot of fun reading, especially on a rainy day. <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, good times right there. Mr. Jimmy, perfect weapon to throw at home invasion, folks. <laughs> Just to make sure they have power throwing in. Yes, absolutely. And you know what? Just because this is something I think you guys may want to check out as well. I have this on the side. Take a look at Deadpool. This is Deadpool's head. Apparently, it's an animated head. My brother-in-law, James, actually uh, hooked this one up. And I was like blown away when I opened this one up as well. Premium interacted in interactive head i guess it says there 600 lines of dialogue expressive movement app enhanced body not included <laughs> apparently this is like a limited thing as well and you basically it's got jokes pranks insults it's got a lot of foul language apparently as well too so i'm gonna have to see how this is before i actually do anything with this on a stream um i gotta take a look but Marvel Legends brand, uh, brand here right now. If my boy James is watching this right now, homie hugs to you, brother. This was definitely very awesome uh, as well. Can't wait to get this thing cracked open and take a look at some of these things. But it's his full-on animated animatronic Deadpool head uh, on this very, very slick here. And it shows you a few things uh, as well. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. So really, really slick. Um, it's just a lot, a lot to look forward to uh, with this here. But Deadpool's head, uh, interactive uh, right there as well. Ages 18 plus, not for kids, sweetie, not for kids. <laughs> Very cool. James, thank you so much again. I'm going to let you know about this. Um, again, if you're not watching the stream uh, live, but very, very cool stuff there. Very, very cool stuff. James Morrison, have you seen the Pixel Dan's Motu photo book? Yes, I want to get that. I just don't have it yet. Um, that's the uh, the kind of like the anthology of all the toys and everything together. I've seen that on Amazon. So I do plan on picking that up at some point soon, uh, for sure. Good times indeed. Good times indeed with that. Uh, ScottRush.com, turn it on. I want to hear Deadpool's talk. I'm going to have to take a look first before that happens. <laughs> just to see. Just to see. $12 for that pickle chip on eBay? So, I mean, you guys are still trying to, to get the uh, the Sam's Club exclusive with that one. Is it worth 12 bucks? I don't know if I'd go that far. It's tasty, though. <laughs> it's tasty. Larry Nguyen, I want it that way. Let's see, Mr. Rogers didn't care for the new Kevin Smith He-Man series. It was okay. It was kind of its own thing. I mean, I enjoyed it for what it was. Scareglow, I think, was one of the best parts of that show. I got to be honest. Um, I really enjoyed that character. Very underused, but he's always, he's pretty awesome. He really is pretty awesome. Min Lee, thanks so much for jumping on. No worries. I'm glad that you're here. And of course, you're immortalized here in the chat as well as um, on the replay um, here that you guys are going to be watching, which will be out on January 1st. We'll put this one out on January 1st for you guys because tomorrow will be the final review uh, of the year. 
Jay never put on the Deadpool mask. That's actually, it's it's a head. I can't do that. <laughs> but we'll definitely see about uh, what I, how that thing works over there. Uh, let's see. Going down the line. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Who do you want to go to the Super Bowl? You know, I haven't been actively following this past year, Herbie, to be honest, to give you an educated answer on that. I'm excited about, obviously, the game itself in general. Um, because I always love the Super Bowl just because of the food and and all just the camaraderie of it there. So uh, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Ben New Year warning: Do not put that mask on the table near your bed if you want to have a have a nightmare. Okay, no worries, no worries. Darth of the Dead: Do you read comics? If so, what are you currently reading? Nothing currently. Um, I actually kind of reread a lot of the Walking Dead stuff. Um, not that long ago. Um, but nothing really since. But that actually, the He-Man stuff, I'm definitely going to take a look at uh, for sure. I vaguely remember some of the mini comics, even though they're all in the figures that I have. Um, but I haven't, I couldn't tell you. Um, it's been a while since I've actually read anything like that from He-Man. It's going to be interesting. That I don't know, Mr. Jimmy. If Ryan Reynolds' voice is Deadpool's head, there, that would make sense, though, considering the, uh, the movie. Um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know for sure. Min Lee, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. That's right, 2021-2022. Absolutely. Why don't we try deep fried pickles like Sonic's Piccolo? I've tried their, their pickle slushy, which actually was pretty interesting. I actually enjoyed that, to be honest. <laughs> Jay Nepper, thank you for your honest reviews. Can't wait for what you what you tease for 2022. Yes, no, good times, definitely, Jay. And I appreciate the love and support. Um, and for all of you guys, uh, without a doubt. It's definitely been a very, very fun year, like I said, and I got to be honest, it's uh, it's a love letter to be able to create and do what I do here on the channel. Again, I always just consider myself just an average guy making content the way I'd like to do it. Um, and the fact that you guys enjoy it and there's an audience for it there just blows me away. I still get freaked out when I see the number of subs that we have here on the channel. Um, it's just really, really something special. And like I said, I'm very grateful and humbled um, by all of the outpouring from you guys, especially on direct media, uh, when you guys message me directly as well. I've really um, gotten into this mode of building a lot of content. I know I haven't answered a lot of comments on my uh, on my videos in a while. Um, I kind kind of try and get into the heart, you know, a few of them here and is here and there as I go. But I always use these live streams as a way to kind of connect with you, um, because I just think it means a little bit more directly and try and get to as many comments here in the chat, um, because you guys are taking the time to spend some time with me, and that means a great deal. I can't even tell you um, how that makes me feel. And every time I I hit stop recording when I'm doing my streams here. It blows me away of how much fun I've had from the beginning of the hour all the way to the end. And hopefully you guys feel the same way because, um, like I said, with everything going on in the world right now and the distractions that I need personally, um, you guys are helping to kind of help a lot of that along too, which is awesome. You know, in light of everything else that we have going on in our lives, um, let's just make this next year something even better than it was for, you know, what we've uh, just been put through right now. And yes, Chris, I know. Rest in peace, John Madden. That's so not cool. I know, I know. Larry Nguyen, do you cook? Yes, but very little. <laughs> yes, Michael Domeyer, yes, I, I, John Madden, I couldn't believe that either there. But 85, though, I mean, he really, um, he lived a very rich, full life, and his name is going to be, he's legendary, and it will continue forever um, as the games are continuing to be put out there um, every year. So um, shout out to John Madden right now. Some prayer hands here in the chat if you guys would like as well. Um, you know, he really definitely, uh, he is the epitome of the sport of football. Honestly, when you think of football, how could you not think of John Madden? I mean, no matter what age group, no matter what generation, John Madden is just legendary, legendary. Really something else. It really is. Wow. But, um, the show must go on, right? And there'll, there'll be other legends. There'll be other people to take his place, but there's not, you know, a replaceable person for John Madden for sure. Uh, without a doubt. Let's see, Darth of the Dead. Honestly, appreciate your honesty and how humble you are. We need more YouTubers like it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Believe me, we're all going through something. We're all fighting something. We're all dealing with something. Every single one of us has something going on. Um, no matter how much you may see your favorite creators, they, there's a lot going on in the background with them as well. And you don't know what it's like until you walk in their shoes. Um, but the goal is naturally to keep putting out the content. Um, for me personally, I love being able to kind of help and do that here in the community as well. There's a lot of people that reach out to me directly that I love conversing with and chatting with. Um, it really means a great deal. And like I said, we're all just one big happy family here. I mean, all of you guys who are here on the channel, um, you guys have choices, like I always say when it comes to content. So I appreciate you making my channel one of them as always. 
And as we round out this um, the stream here, let me just also say a huge shout out and thank you to each and every one of you guys for an amazing 2021. Um, we're going to make 2022 even better um, at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed all the content all throughout the year. The top 10, naturally, the, I probably should have thrown Jollibee in there at some point. Shout outs to you, Mr. Jimmy. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to see about um, next year. Now that Jollibee is officially in the house, we'll see how quickly they come out with some new things. But like I said, you have some other reviews to look forward to from them for things for me trying them for the first time. So uh, watch for those very soon as well. And uh, we'll just uh, move on from there. But guys, a very happy new year to each and every one of you guys. Whatever you're doing on the 31st, please do it safely. The country is going through an amazing, amazingly horrible surge right now, which is crazy. So just if you're going to be going out there, please just be careful. Um, I wish nothing but health, happiness, and success for each and every one of you guys here on the stream. No matter what you're into, no matter what you're doing, um, it's going to be a fun year. It's going to be a better year, and it's going to be a more productive, positive, and just overall forward-thinking uh, year for the future as we go further and further along. So stay safe, stay frosty, be safe, all that good stuff as well. I'm going to be here in the chat as long as I can before the... Uh, stream times out typically about a minute or so after so before you go and naturally when the when the stream stops just hang for a bit if you wish and type some stuff i'll try and get some things out to you and uh we'll go from there and uh let me just jump on over here right now coming soon jay coming soon and with that guys this is ian k closing out the live stream officially for new year's eve eve december 30th and like i always say i've got brand new content every single week here on my channel so why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon in the meantime stay frosty the last time i'm saying that for the year actually will be for tomorrow <laughs> so you'll see that review coming out at 12 p.m pacific standard time this replay will be live on january 1st and i'm taking another couple of days off after that uh and go from there because i definitely need to sleep a little bit more at the same time um but guys again shout outs to each and every one of you thank you for being here on the channel thank you for jumping on the stream tonight for all 43 plus of you um, I know it's been going up and down throughout the hour. Thank you for being here for all the super chatters, all the PayPalers, and everyone donating to the channel with your good thoughts. Whether it's here in the chat, whether it's down below, um, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More fun stuff to come in 2022. And with that, I'm going to jump on over here because we are about to stop this one here. And uh, guys, let's just move it along. Still no flying cars yet. I said this last year around the same time. We're getting closer, though. I mean, what, we have flying taxis, right? Some of those flying taxi things. That's more for like the people out in Dubai or something like that for now. But uh, a very happy new year to you. You stay frosty as well, Sabas. Bus 7332, I appreciate you. Stay safe. I hope you feel better. I'm surprised my voice is lasting as long as it is because it's beginning to scratch. Um, and shout out to each and every one of you. Keep it positive. And like you're going to hear in tomorrow's review at the end, we can change the motion of the ocean, but you can adjust your sails accordingly. Let's just ride the wave, get through it, Watch Cobra Kai and uh, enjoy. <laughs> All right, guys, have a safe one. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. We'll talk to you after. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next stream. And with that, peace. I'm out.